while several other regulars are missing. His most influential midfielder, one Sebastian Veron, has recovered from a knee injury well ahead of schedule, and the key defender, Alessandro Nesta, is also fit to start. No Rio Ferdinand, of course, for Leeds. He's not eligible until the new year. And although Harry Kuehl is at last free of injury, a lack of match fitness means he only starts on the bench again. Eric Backer returns in midfield, and another recent absentee, Jason Wilcox, comes in on the left. go that no question a draw would not be a disaster for Leeds by any means keeping a clean sheet will be David O'Leary's priority but that's you have so much attacking potential if you do field Jim Beglin then it will need the concentration and organisation that was really lacking at Leicester without doubt Peter I think after Filbert Street there's a much bigger onus on the two centre backs Woodgate and Radaby to get the basics right again tonight better concentration better discipline and communication between them I mean you'd hope the experience of keeping a clean sheet here last season against Roma would help them but I think they've got a huge task on their hands and they're really up against it they'll do well to get a point from me and it's a point they need well they will certainly have the raw aggression up front of Alan Smith Duca Gary Kelly back in this more familiar role as right back then after it all turned rather sour at the weekend with David O'Leary deploying three at the back with the introduction of Rio Ferdinand it just didn't work out no I mean some of the scribes in the press have given David O'Leary a bit of stick for changing the system but I think the players should have been able to adjust it wasn't as if it was a change that was completely alien to them and they just got the basics on, they weren't marking, they weren't concentrating, and they paid for it. Up comes Woodgate. Lee Bowyer will take this kick then for Leeds. Backers in there too, he can be a real handful in the air. No test through for Rootsy and Wolf have gone anyway. Svaduka has been penalised. We have a French referee tonight for Colombo, and it is indeed a caution for Vaduka. for stepping the mark to excuse the pump I think it's Nesta Peter who's yeah. trying to mark him and yeah, he does catch him that's a good spot by the referee I mean Viduka's lucky because another referee might send them off oh you're going to ground he's retaining possession Viduka he was in one or two problems early on Viduka well, he's so good at that, Peter. I mean, great feet from Mark Paducah already. Just knocked it past, committed the defender, and then take the free kick. The defender was Fernando Coto. And we've got a few in there. Oh, dear. It was a mighty close call. You wonder, Paducah is appreciating the service there. That's you with some disarray. How has it stayed out? I can't believe they've all missed it. Because three of them had a pop on it. First it was Viduka, then Smith, and then Woodgate here. Look. And Woodgate. Is Dakor. He has become such an important player for Leeds this season. It's Kelly now. Viduka and Smith ahead of him. And that'll be a corner to Leeds. The persistence of Mark Viduka has paid off. Great touch for a big man. I mean, he's, he's given Fernando Coto a hard time on a few occasions up to now. Kane Woodgate is among those waiting in the middle. It's cleared off the line. It's another escape for Lazio. And they are looking vulnerable on these corners. The ball's played into their box. Woodgate to Matteo. Now Wilcox. Real encouragement for Leeds. Radaby to tidy things up here. His back has got up really, really well. Sneaking in. I'm not sure whether the keeper would have managed it, but Lombardo did the trick. That was the value of having the man, the century there on the post. Simeone. On by Lombardo to Pacaro. 
is Simeone working it on to Crespo. Radovi had gone with him. Simeone and into Salas. That's a good block, Woodgate. It's another test here of Leeds' defensive qualities. Oh, off the crossbar! What an escape now for Leeds. Astonishing was Pacro at the far post. That's for Ron. This is skipping cross that gave Leeds so many problems back there. Well, I thought Paul Robinson could have done a little better on it, but I must admit, but Ron hit it with an awful lot of pace. And I can't believe again that Pancaro has missed that. I mean, nothing could be easier. He's above Jason Wilcox, just put it in. It's like as if he closed his eyes and hoped for the best. Now Nedved, he's whipped that one in well, oh, that, got, uh, that went Salas, should be a corner this, yeah. I think we'll close his eyes and hope for the best. Now Nedved, he's whipped that one in well, oh, that, got, uh, that went Salas, should be a corner this, yeah. I think Woodgate's got a vital touch did, yeah. to pick it, flick it clear, and I think Salas and Crespo are totally just in criticising the referee Woodgate's backpedalling, he's struggling all the way but just enough to get a little touch should have been a corner two Leeds players are booking away from suspension, Alan Smith and Eric Backer it's another worrying moment here for Leeds, here comes Salas tremendous defending again, Woodgate he came to his team's rescue there right at the last and Salas came darting in far post are you so pleased for Jonathan Woodgate after Saturday because this is great defending I thought Salas did extremely well just to get there we're on to try yet again it's Matthew this time just stretching there out of me and Salas have come in behind him and Salas almost on the goal line along with Pacaro Veron and that's gone Leeds way Paducah was never afraid to take a defender off now it's Backer. at the end of the first half Eric Backer is nudging it on to Baduka he has such strength in the firing line there here's Matteo again hit it for Backer and then Baduka has turned really well how can he pull it back from here goodness me Bowyer came in unattended at the far post and just couldn't find the right angle I thought it was in. That was brilliant skill from Mark Viduka and a wonderful little chip to the far post. Simeone now for Lazio. Oh, Nibbert's taking it on here. But scuffed his shot. I think Paul Robinson's right to have a go at his defence there because Nedved, he's worried me all through the first half as well. He's got great movement. He's always on the lookout for something and wasn't the best finish in the end, but it was a good position he got himself into again. Up goes Fernando Coto with Viduka, Smith. Fernando Coto has stayed down. And now can receive some attention. Yes, the arm of Viduka did snake out then. Certainly clipped him. Nestor making that very point, I think. Well, they'd love Mark Viduka to get a second yellow, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Harry Kuehl, will we see him soon for Leeds? Nedved now, making good progress. Again, they've kept the door shut, Leeds. Good, tight defending. That was good defending, but again, you can't help but admire Nedved. I mean, he just won't stick on his wing. His movement's terrific all over the place. And a good ball in. That was Veron to Nedved. 
No, the angle was too tight. What a super little ball through then from Veron. He'd seen the run of Nedved, who is so bright and so quick to spot the possibilities. That uh, was a lovely little delightful ball in by Veron, but I think Radaby's just done enough to put pressure on Nedved. Knows he's there and he's not really going to beat Robinson from that acute an angle. This was the earlier one that Woodgate, I mean Woodgate's been superb tonight. Matteo played in by Backer to Dacor. Got a sight of goal! Unlucky! Well, he hit a post at the weekend, Dacor. He scored his first league goal against Arsenal recently. And this was a decent opportunity. I thought he did so well to actually craft the space for himself because Simeone looked to close him down quickly, but Dacor, quick feet, got it away. That's a good effort. Really has been an outstanding signing from Lons. Of course, he had that spell with Everton in the Premier League before that. Offside, Baduka and Dor Smith have been caught out here. Cantley's continue to keep their shape. And well, hopefully find some penetration at the other end on the break here, as they're doing now with Alan Smith. We've got Boya streaming forward here. Smith has gone down. Oh, Peruzzi was caught in two minds there. He certainly had some moments of indecision, the goalkeeper. Crespo. And that's a foul by Radaby in the eyes of the French referee. Marcelo Salas trying to shake off Radaby. Nedved, that's a lovely turn. Pavel Nedved! Oh, that was fantastic play by the man from the Czech Republic. Well, he's most likely. You've got to say that about them because he's the one that's making all the little runs, getting free from people. I mean, from our position, it looked a lot closer at first. Dacour. Oh, such quick feet. Well, that was super work then from Dacour. And from Viduka too. Now Alan Smith. It'll fall for Boya. Knocked over the top. Oh, it was so nearly in. As Viduka arrived on the scene. It just flipped over the bar. I really fancied him from that position to score. I don't think he got as solid a contact as he would have liked. In fact, it didn't come off Viduka in the end. It came off Lombardo, who was back helping out. And I think that's why Peruzzi was able to make the save. Oh, yeah. Swinging it over. I think if Viduka gets stronger contact, if he, if he got there before Lombardo and got good, solid contact, I don't think Peruzzi would have been able to do much about it. In the end, it was a good save from him. Yeah, it was certainly deterred then by Lombardo's presence and he did demand the save from Peruzzi but now it's Boya going in another chance it just won't go in for Leeds Woodgate this time but it's Lazio hanging on now well it was a good challenge right at the death Nesta is it typically now Kelly that was well read by Favalli Simeone, Leone Ball and Crespo is after it, he might be in here, Hernan Crespo, good save by Robinson, he did terrifically well then the young goalkeeper, just stood up, waited and well timed his save to perfection. Well he got in such a good position Crespo, and he just needs to lift it higher, if he lifts it higher he's probably got his goal. Viduka with Smith, now Kuhl. Paducah, oh played in brilliantly for Smith! And Leeds have scored! It's a goal they have been threatening all night, and at last they have done it. It was superbly created, and coolly tucked away by Smith. What a night this is turning into for David O'Leary's young side. Perucci dumbfounded, nothing he could do then. 
superbly well and it's nothing more than Leeds deserve Leeds have been the better side on the night for me they've had chances before now that's the best they've had of the night and it was tucked away beautifully Dacor then to Backer it's keep ball from Leeds Harry Kuehl here's the Australian again couldn't find his compatriot Baduka but it's a fantastic result for Leeds United at the home of one of Europe's most formidable teams Alan Smith's goal in the second half has won this match for them another proud proud night yet again they're so plucky of teams as Ericsson shakes hands there with David O'Leary have overturned the odds that seems so heavily stacked against them to the delight of a thousand or so fans who have travelled over from England well Ericsson never shows too much passion but he will be bitterly bitterly disappointed by the way his team have played in contrast well such elation for David O'Leary and Leeds travelling fans what a night they are very much back in the frame now in this second phase group of the Champions League winners over Lazio the Italian champions by a goal to nil